That's right, everybody. I'm back. Good morning. Happy Tuesday to y'all. I hope you've been having a great time. I missed everybody. I missed everybody. I hope y'all been having a great week off. I know I had a great week off. Enjoyed goofing around a little bit, sleeping in, although it's good to be back up before 9 (laughs) a.m. Anyway, yeah. What's been up, everybody? What have y'all been up to? You've been listening to some good music? You've been playing a little music? You've been staying safe? That's what I'm hoping. Anyway, I am so excited to be back here today because we've got our continuation of our morning requests here from y'all. We've got a huge list of fantastic music to go through, and I couldn't wait any longer. Today is the day. Today is the day that we look at Nobu Saito's first and only solo album. Mm, We've been waiting. We've been waiting a long time for this, but the day has finally come. So we're not going to waste too much time getting it talking about other th- stuff before we get into there, but we've got a couple new formatty things here on the old channel. So as always, I can't get all my stuff to work, and right before uh, we started here, my camera died out on me, my GoPro, so I'm going to have to get that fixed here later, but one of the new things that I have working for us is I got a brand new sound card, so hopefully that sounds a little better, and the other thing is I finally got a controller for my virtual DJ software, which is called Tractor, which I've had for a long time, which I have not messed with. And let's go ahead and change the channel. And so now what I've got up here is I've got a little bit better representation of not only our songs, which are now in way higher quality. (laughs) I thought you guys would deserve that. And beyond that, when I start doing some wake and bass uh, tab things, I guess that's not wake and bass. When I start doing some tab videos, I can show you guys a little more clearly now, because I can turn this down. (laughs) We can rewind through our tracks. We can look at different sections if we're playing through stuff. Oh yeah, isn't that a fun sound? Oh yeah. <laughs> but we can do all sorts of things here, like you can see with my knobs, I can turn our bass up and down, mids, treble, all that stuff. I have a billion effects that I'm not gonna harass you guys with. But we got a lot of cool stuff on there to uh, hopefully make it a little sound a little bit better, be a little bit easier to navigate through. But at the same time, we can still watch our videos on YouTube, we can still get some good stuff. But hopefully it'll sound a little bit better. All right, well, let's go ahead and do a little check-in here and see what's going on with everybody. Good morning. What is up, Dave? Owl? What is cracking, y'all? Good to see you guys. (laughs) Say what? I need to get my soundboard all hooked up. I guess you can't see that my (laughs) SP-404 not hooked up. (laughs) Everything's broken here today. But that doesn't matter because what we're here to talk about is Nobu Saito, our leader, our glorious, wonderful percussion god. So if y'all have not been here with us for the last three months, (laughs) you probably don't know who Nobu Saito is. Uh, He is a guy who is extremely prolific musician during the city pop era uh, in Japan and afterwards. His career is still going on today. Uh, He's changed his name several times. I think right now he's going by Saito Nov. You do you, man. Whatever sounds cool to you. Uh, But what we have noticed and what made him so interesting to us here at the channel is that he has appeared on so, so many albums. So this is his only solo album, Virgin Territory, from 1979. Let's scroll over so you can see that there. Yeah, that's his only solo album. But then we look over here to the left and we see credits, and it's like, oh my goodness. So you start with his credits. He kicks back even before that. So it starts in 1973 all the way. I mean, I can't even show... Let's see how far we can get down here. Let's go to the last page. See what, according to Discogs, let's see what the last thing it said he did. Okay, so he's got a couple unreleased. See, Tomohito Aoki, one of our homeboy bass players. He's in there. Uh, this is an older album. This is from like 1990. Uh, I guess it's unreleased, but. Oh, look at that. Akira Symphonic Suite. He's playing in that. That's pretty cool. Looks like we got some remasters here, some new stuff. But anyway, like I said, massive career on this guy. Still looking for my camera. I still don't know where my camera is. There it is. But what we noticed with him is that he is just all over the place with the big names of City Pop. I mean, he's played with Tatsuro. He's played with Mario Takayuchi. He's played with Junko Ohashi. He's played with uh, uh, Yoshino Fuji. I mean, it's, it's harder to find people that he has not played with than people that he has played with. And at this point, to my great sadness... The only person I haven't found a direct link to is Jackie Chan, but we're going to find it. 
I'm not giving up. Also, I, I'm i obsessed with Jackie Chan music now. It's so good. It's so good, you guys. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> okay. Well, before we get too much into me talking here, as I like to do here on the Wake and Bass channel, let's go ahead and test out the new setup, and let's see if this works. Because I was getting horrible, horrible crackling sounds the first time I was doing this because uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Also, apparently, according to Google, I had a USB interface overload. Somebody send me nice things. And a, what I really need is a tech person. Just come move in. All you got to do, you just got to, you know, pay rent, uh, buy food, run my sound production, rub my back and get groceries. You know, not that many things. You guys can do it. Taking applications. But here we go. 1979 debut album from Nobu Saito. Got some uh, interesting cover art there. <laughs> I'm sure you saw that on uh, the opening card there. YouTube, don't get mad at me. But what we've got for our first track here is You're a Great Girl. And I just could not agree more. You're a great girl, whoever you are out there. Track one, Nobu Saito, 1979, Virgin Territory. Off to a good start. Off to a funky start here, I'm digging it. What is going on, Claire? What is going on, Zach? Snoot? Poppy? Good morning, y'all. Good to see you. Welcome to the Nobu Madness. He loves that. Donna, Donna. Okay, I thought we might get it a couple more times, but I guess we didn't. Okay, so we got right off the bat. I'm gonna guess, because I, you know, I love you guys. I don't want to ruin it for anybody here. I waited, I waited, I did not listen to this. I made sure the tracks worked, but I don't know what we're getting into here. We got a pretty tight jam backing track right now. I, I don't feel like we have a soloist yet, But I feel like it's coming. Maybe Jake Concepcion's hiding somewhere? Donna! 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 <laughs> That's like an inverse city pop stop. Instead of breaking, we just loop. Loop. <laughs> but when you got this much percussion in the background, Who's going to complain? Not me. No way. Okay, now here's where my new my new tech comes into advantage. I'm digging this. I'm loving it. I feel like it needs a little more bass. Let's see if we can give it a little more bass. Ooh, there we go. Need a little bit of mixing love, a little bit of 1979. Need a little update here for 2020. There we go. <laughs> I definitely feel the Mario Desert vibe. Yeah, pull out your uh, Joy Cons. track here <clears throat> so I'm getting the feeling we're we're pretty deep into what this track is gonna be uh, also one little fun side note that I can point out to you guys here now with this new program that I've got uh, again this is called tractor up here if you look here I'm just gonna do a little bit of a pause Bloop. Uh, if you look on here and you see each one of these oh you can't see my mouse but each one of those lines is a beat and so what's really great about this software is that it not only identifies your beats 
but it gives you an auto BPM. So you can look up here in the top right, I know it's a little hard to see because there's a thousand numbers, but right next to that A on the top, you'll see 89.43. That's the BPM, beats per minute. So it's a little bit under 90. So why that's useful is this actually has two decks. And well, actually, if you wanted to, you could have four decks, which is pretty crazy, way more than I can handle. But you can go back and forth between two decks and match them up all together. But what's important for us here at the channel is this knob right here, blah, blah. Oh, you can't see it, but now you can. Look at that thing going up and down. Look at that thing going up and down. That is our tempo shifter. And if I keep, oh, you can't see the little button. There's a little key lock button here. So I can speed it up without changing. Or slow it down. And if I really want to get crazy, I can pitch it. Somebody call Killer Mike and LP. We're doing the Chopped and Screwed channel now. Mm. I'm sorry, guys. Y you know I can't help myself. I, I can't. I can't help myself. I can't. Okay. Now as we're reading, uh, reading through here, let's keep that on a little bit low level here, so you guys got a little bit of background on you. So I was looking up. We we've done a lot of research here on on Nobu here at the channel as far as who he played with and how he was traveling around. We've seen some really great live videos of him. I think the last one we saw was a really dope Toshiki Katamatsu um, uh, live set. I think that was what we were watching, or maybe it was a Takanaka uh, for the Jackie Chan song. At any rate, very very well known throughout the scene. Now as I'm looking up a little bit of info here on him and his personal life, I was looking up his teacher a cat named Kamanosuke Hamaguchi. Oh yeah, aren't you guys glad that I'm trying to say Japanese again? And he was a uh, percussionist, and it looks like he was a professor, or let's see. Yeah, no, he graduated, it looks like, from the Ayogama Gaokin University. His son is a percussionist, it looks like he did pretty well for himself. But yeah, it looks like uh, when Nobu was in mi middle school, high school, I think that's what it says. Yeah, and he started, he moved to Tokyo and started to study with that cat. So let's see what that would have been. So 17. So he didn't form, according to his Wikipedia, he didn't formally start studying until he was 17, which would have been 12 years before his first album. So, not bad, going from a zero to a solo album in 12 years and then Taking that and parlaying that into one of the craziest percussion careers of all time. Not bad, Nobu. Not bad. Okay, now, as we move on to this next song here, I want to see if we can do a little bit of digging to see who's playing all this kind of stuff. Because that's the good stuff. Hey, we got some more people. What's up, Desi? Good to see you. Long time no see. It's been a week off. All right. Let's see what else we got here. So, let's go back to our album. Bloop, blop. Here we go. So that was track one, You're a Great Girl. I would agree. Whoever, whatever girl he was talking about. Seems like a pretty solid lady. At least the jam was a solid one. But let's load up our second track. It's our title track now, Virgin Territory. This is a short one. This one's only, our first track was almost seven minutes long, 6.52. Uh, now our second track here is only two minutes and 40 seconds. But let's go ahead and give it a little bit of a listen. And let's see uh, what Nobu's got in store for us. See if he's, oh. Uh oh baby, I'm here in the funk. We might have to get a rewind. I also love doing this. That's so satisfying. Oh yeah, now we're talking. This is what I needed. I'm gonna keep the bass up, but I'll turn the rest down. He's letting it out now. Oh, that's funky, baby. Mm -hmm. Well, would you look at this, y'all? 
He's got a second album. All right. Zen in 2008. Damn, this is opening up. All right, let's get a little bit of a reverse here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little jump back in time because that was a sweet transition here. Oh, I'm going to go back more. <laughs> All right, here comes that big white line in our tractor. Digging this song. I really want to know who's playing on this now because we've looked at people like uh, Makota Matsushita. Uh, he he comes out with First Light in 1980. Now this website is saying this album was 1977, not 1979. So you know what that means. Some one of you is gonna have to go find this rare ass record and buy it for me and send it to me. Thank you. I'll PM you my address. <laughs> I'm digging. This is like, I'm getting a very heavy George Clinton kind of vibe. Even though this is more upbeat than George Clinton, like, if I had to put this at George Clinton, it would sound like this. Oh, is it not going to work? There it is. Yeah, let's get that slow George Clinton. That's a George Clinton beat. There we go. 83. But Nobu's like, nah. 94. Somebody just broke me with Discord. What the hell is that? Oh my god, Dave. <laughs> I miss you guys. I'm never taking a vacation again. This is way more fun than taking a break. <laughs> okay. Track two. Boo! Oh, let's get a little bit of that again. Yeah, all of you guys are like, oh man, this, this new equipment you got is so cool. I like it. Day three. Alex, throw that thing in the trash. Please stop scratching. <laughs> okay, so we're looking through here. This image is blocked due to legal restrictions in your country or personal settings. Can't see Nobu's chest, I guess. Anyway, so looking through here, we got a couple of uh, little interesting tidbits here as we continue our journey through Nobu land, trying to figure out who's playing, what's going on. According to Discogs here, those lying jerks... <laughs> They said this album came out in 1979, but it's looking like the more and more research I do here, it's looking like they're saying 1977. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Discogs, you jerks. So two years earlier, so he was not 19 when he did this. He was, or no, he was not 17. He was 15 when he did this. Is that right? No, he must have been 17. Somebody hit me up with math. I cannot do that. 50 to 77. Yeah, he was 17. There you go. It's even numbers. Not even numbers. Don't listen to me. I'm not a math guy. But we also found out that he's got a new solo album from 2008, which is pretty interesting, called Zen. And this is when he has... Maybe one of the reasons this didn't show up is because he has changed his name. Maybe not his legal name, but his stage name has gone through quite a few iterations. So it looks like his birth name is Nobu Saito. Pretty close. Uh, but it looks like he's gone by, he's changed the spelling a couple times. Now he goes by Nov Saito, which makes me think of uh, Novosad for some reason. Serbia, I don't know. Zoltan, if you're out there, what's up? <laughs> anyway, we're going to keep looking, though, to see if we can figure out who is playing on this thing. So let's go ahead and go to track three here, which is not Technicolored Queen, because that's, that's, that's not Nobu enough. This is Tech Color Queen. I don't know what that means. I just know it's better. See? It's already better. It's better. Ooh, yeah. Oh, man. He's setting up the City Pop Stops for the next 15 years. Vocalist. Rewind. What? Oh, yeah, baby.
see these jerks say 1979 too. I'm going to zoom in on this for both of us. That was a cool stop. All right, let's, let's get a little bit of Nobu Rewind. Blah, 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 Because that was a cool stop. Now, that was a true city pop stop because I had no idea where the hell we were going. Nobu. Ahead of the curve. Always ahead of the curve. Disco baby. Oh yeah, there's that solo. Okay, here's a good, good opportunity, good teaching opportunity. To to talk to you guys about something now that I've got new software and doing things that are very silly and not really associated with Awaken Base. It doesn't matter, we have fun here. One of the things that you can do with this software that is so cool, that is a DJ thing, that is also a remix thing, spiral alert, I'm getting into remixes. Uh, you can go through here and what you can do is set what are called in, out, loops. So you can pick a section and you can loop it. So when we found that super sweet percussion beat, let me show you here. Let's see if we can find it again. Try to catch that same percussion. And then what I'm gonna try to do is loop that baby. Okay, so we're still coming up into it. But what I'm gonna do is when I find it, I'm gonna hit the in loop button. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna hit the out loop button and you'll see what that looks like. Let's see if I can snag it the first try. Got the disco funk. Mm -hmm. I should probably take this picture off. <laughs> YouTube, don't get mad. All right, here it is. Oh, I goofed it up. See, I told you you guys would get sick of it. Anyway, pretty cool here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So we got a little more information here about the album. We've got this website, uh, what's it called? Hip, hip, I was about to say hip tank. Hip tank records, specializing in Japanese records and all those things wonderful and foreign. And it looks like we got a little bit more information on him here, talking about some of his, the people that he's played with, what made him famous. Looks like he's a... Uh, Done some crossover fusion with an English poem by Tsusako Goto. Pretty interesting. Pretty cool. But we're not getting any of the names of the musicians. So I guess we'll just give up. <clears throat> Wrong. We're going to keep going. Let's go to the next track here. So that was Tech Color Queen. Again, a very interesting. Uh, let's get a little bit of a play out here. I'll just skip to the end. Bloop. Yeah. I'd call this like disco funk. I'd call it disco funk. Mm. Hey, what's up, Daniel? What's cracking? Good to see you this morning. <laughs> lies. <laughs> I am known for my lies. Okay, well, let's keep going here. So I got the old pause. Bloop. Let's go ahead and find that next track here, which is called Wave. A little bit of a future foresight there for, uh, what is it? Tatsuro Yamashita. What's his song? Magic Wave or Magic Waves? Or Magic Ways. That's what I love the girl with magic ways. I thought it was magic waves. That's her. Anyway, here we go. Wave. This is track four off of Nobu Saito's, I'm going to go with 1977, because that's what I believe, album, Virgin Territory. Let's go ahead and give that a listen here. Ooh. And again, for all you purists out there, I apologize today. As you can see here over on the right, let's see if I can... Whoop. 
There. Yeah, I've turned the bass up. Because I like it a little bassier. So, I hope y'all don't mind. I just guessed it. Oh, is this a La song? Volume stays up, y'all. I gotta imagine this is Nobu singing here. I love that wave away. No way. No way. <sighs> you guys are unbelievable. You guys are unbelievable. You guys are ridiculous. You guys are ridiculous. Oh, I can't believe you guys found this. Oh, you guys are so, you guys are so amazing. I'm never leaving you again. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Okay, well, 500% ain't helping me out on this one. Blip, 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 blip. But let's go back to that website and let's see what we got here. Can I hit that in the old inglés? Okay, very cool here. Let's... <laughs> Vocal by Nobu. Hell yeah. And you guys are awesome. Dude, thank you, Dan. Oh, this is so good. Thank you so much, Daniel. You're the best, man. All right, now let's see if I can read this. Um, okay, let's try something else here. This way, boo, way, boo, way is getting me. I'm digging it. Okay, it looks like we're going further back in time. I, I, I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> Okay, let's see if is there anything I can get off of this? <sighs> Ding dong. I like that keyboard solo. That's cool. Yeah, <sighs> this is awesome that we have the insert here, but <sighs> ding darn it, it is just too small. All right, I'm going to ask for uh I'm going to ask for help from y'all see if we can keep deciphering this cuz I want to know who's playing guitar here cuz we're getting some we're getting some overall tasty grooves today. Very, very much so. Now you see it doesn't have a CD here. It's like, what's all this? What's all this? Uh-oh. Looks like we're getting we're getting hooked up by the owl. I think I see I think I see some solutions here. Mm-mm-mm. mm 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 Press on open original. Let's do is it open link? Yes. Is this Oh now we're looking a little sweeter here. Okay, you see, I need help using the internet. I don't know how to use computers properly. This is absolutely going to work. Oh, yeah. Okay, now we're talking. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's get that volume down a little bit here so I can nerd the dirt out. Okay, right here. Ooh, zoom. Enhance. Uh-huh. Yes. Man, I don't have to drag this over here. Okay, you're a great girl. Music and arranged by Christopher Parker. Ha ha! It begins. It begins, everybody. Okay, since uh, I need a notepad and I don't have a notepad, we're going to do that. Christopher Parker. Okay, so what did you do, my man? Music. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. Don't you guys love that? Because I'm just so funny. I'm just so funny. Okay. Uh, Toshi Higuchi. Ah, man. That looks like Goto. 
Takushi Goto? Enhance. That's not what I wanted. Oop. And. Oop. Yeah. Tsugoshi Goto. That's what we're going to go with. And let's see here. Music by. Arranged by Nobu. More Goto. Vocals by. Oh, is that Joni Davis? Is that what that is? Is that or Joni Davies? Mm, mm. Okay, well, let's keep listening while I try to decipher this a little bit more. But, Matt, man, this is why. With our powers combined, we could take over the internet. People need to know this stuff. It's cool. It's fun. All right, so that was A4. That was our fourth track off the first side here in 1977. Nobu Saito, Virgin Territory, our solo album here. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to go, be going a little bit further into his last track off the first side. Let's see if I can get my radio voice on. All right, welcome back, everybody. So we've got our last track here off the first side of Nobu Album's 1977 album. We got Sure coming at you. It's a weird one. But a good one. Okay, 100% Nobu. That's what we got right here, y'all. <laughs> Feel that SpongeBob game mark. Okay. So this is another good uh, little background loop thing. If I was uh, making a beat off of this, this is a super sweet backbeat. It sounds, got a little bit of that uh, Senorita Justin Timberlake vibe. A little bit. Nope, he's better, of course. I'm not saying that. <laughs> All right, well, let's look up a little bit about Goto here because that's a cat that has popped up in our history. Tsugoshi Goto. That is not how you spell it at all. I don't think I clicked on the right website. In fact, I know I didn't. Let's do Discogs. Okay, now you see, this is... I can understand why Nobu did one solo album like this and then just did other people's stuff. Because this is, as we appreciate, because we're refined here at the Bass Channel, this is dope. And we know that this is super cool and there's a lot of really interesting sounds. Are we just done? What's happening here? I know we're not done because I can see we're not done. What is happening? Is this a, is this just a weird rip? I think this is a weird rip. I'm very confused. Is this the next song? I think this might be the next song too. Or is this just a weird outro? Pretty cool, pretty cool there. All right, so that was in fact just an outro. Now here's something very cool. I'm so glad that this happened on this album right here today. As you guys can see over here, hey, you can see my mouse now. If you look over here on this time section here, this is my new, uh, we got a new setup today. This is a program called Tractor, which is a virtual vinyl. You can put MP3s, you know, but you can do all the wiki, 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 wah. Oh, you can't see that. I'll put it in the middle. If I turn it up a little, you can scratch it like a record. You can do all those kinds of things. But what is a great advantage to this that we'll see later in my tabs is the ability, as you can see over here on uh, other side. Yes, this thing right here next to me. These are the levels for the track. So bass, mids, highs. As a general note, bass makes a lot of sense. You know what that does. For highs, a lot of people think that uh, turning up the high will turn up the, the clarity of your vocals when in fact not the case. If you're ever trying to hear clarity in vocals, that actually exists in the middle range. So what you want to do, if you're trying to get really clean vocals, you want to do something like this and like that. Trim off a little bit at the top, push the mids, and then if you really want to warm it up, 
you can mess with the bass. Now, one of the reasons I got this uh, turntable thing over here is because it has a built-in sound card that renders all this stuff, takes all the guesswork out. You don't have to mess with peaks. You don't have to mess with overpushing. There's a button uh, up here that's called gain that I have at the top where if I mess with that, then I could get myself in some dangerous territory. But in general, what that allows me to do is to go from this, let's go ahead and play it and listen. And I can transform that into this. Now this is a poor example because we don't have vocals here, but when I'm working on bass lines, my goodness, it helps so much just to do this. Goodbye, goodbye. And maybe a little bit of bass. But believe it or not, if you focus on the mids, it helps you hear the centers of pitch. It can be a little overwhelming if you've got a lot of instruments going on, but this is the solution. Mess with that EQ, it helps out a lot. Okay, now let's go ahead and, uh, oh, now I remember, now I remember. Okay, delete my channel. I knew that, I knew that Goto, I was like, why do I know that name? Why is that name so in my brain? Sadistic Mika Band, man. We have talked about him many, many times. Somebody who played a lot with Yoshino Fujima and also, oh, look at this. It's like Nobu. 328 writing arrangements. That's writing arrangements, let alone instrumental performances. My goodness, my goodness. Awesome. Okay, so there's our bass player. We got Goto rolling around with Saito there. Very, very cool. Okay, and let's look up, uh, let's see if we can find our vocalist now, because it was Joni Davies. Is that what we got? Is that the consensus, y'all? Is Joni Davies? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch over to track two now. And by track two, I mean side two of our album. So for those of you just now joining us, we're doing Nobu Saito's 1977, not 1979 album, Virgin Territory. Very, very percussive. Very, very interesting. Got a lot of as always with our you know, city pop, we have to get at least one Latin song. And I think we've got two in here so far. Uh, and our last one, sure, was a 100% Nobu Saito percussion piece. With an interesting little tag, as you're looking up here in the top, we've got a... Oh, I guess I switched the song. I'll show it to you real quick here. If I load this up, kabloop, right here in the middle, it, it went, all that red stuff, that's silence and crackles. But then there's this fun little tag that he pops in at the end here. We're gonna see Tatsuro Yamashita steal, not steal that idea, but take inspiration from that idea later in his albums when he would do the taglines for his stuff. But for right now, let's keep going. So this is the first si first track of the second side. This is called Gotta Give In. Ooh. Sounds like we got maybe some more Joni Davies here. I like a lot of bass. And again, this sound card in here saves me from, if I did that normally, it would just blow out the speakers. You guys would not be able to hear anything. But this sound card takes care of it for me. Thank you, Pioneer. Here we go. So we've got a, a reference to the song Joni Davies. There she is. Te oh, look at that. It is Technicolor Queen. Man, the person who did this Discogs really dropped the ball. I was all excited that he called it Tech Color Queen. Because I just didn't know what that meant. Oh, now we got some key solos? All right, let's see who's slapping keys on this. Let's check our, let's check our insert here. Not that one. Too. 
Oh, Goto again. All right, let's see who the let's see if we can find who the band is. Cause there's got to be like a backup band. I mean, this is just all Nobu. My goodness. Nobu playing guitar. <laughs> Nobu playing bass. Technicolor. Something, something, something. Yellow. Something, something, something. One, two. Oh, I love how he goes one, two, three. Woo! <laughs> oh, I like one, two, three, woo. I'm looking forward to hearing that. Ooh, got a little English song here at the end. Tell us who's playing keys, man. Somebody's slapping keys hardcore here. Cause this has got to give in, yeah, but music by, this can't be all Goto. Who's that? Is that Marshi Suta? What do we got here? Let's get a let's get a consensus with the team. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, we finally got one new good person down here, Tatsuro Hayashi. Let's let's real quick. Let's look up this Christopher Parker cat. Let's see what's uh let's see what's happening up with him real fast. Let's see if we can find some info. Not Charlie Parker. Oh my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> As I choke on my own spit there. Okay, well this kid, uh, it looks like we got the right guy because we're in the right area here. His career starts in 71. Don McLean, that's pretty, pretty big name right there. <laughs> Barry Manilow, there we go. Okay, who else have we got? Joe Beck, huh. The Becker Brothers, okay, that's what, that's what. Let's see what he does. So he's an American drummer and percussionist. Interesting, very interesting. I, we've yet to find a, a, a keys person yet here. Wouldn't say slapping, more like tickling the keys. <laughs> all right, Panda, all right, Panda. You wanna fight me on my words? I'll see how it is. Yeah, you're right. There's, I wouldn't quite say it was funky enough for slapping keys, tickling, <laughs> tickling keys is probably a good compromise there. I dig it. Okay, cool, so we're getting some more info here. now. Again, let's just do a quick recap to see what we got here. All right, other pick has the band members on the reverse. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You guys are awesome, are awesome, are awesome. So let's check out this other picture. So open link, and let's see if I can open it the right way this time. Okay, so this is our side one, side two. So that one we've already looked at, but this is our one. Let's see if we can find that other side. I'm gonna have to ask a Daniel to hook me up here because I just cannot. Oh, let's see if we can open the original. Uh, open original. Yes, please. Yes, please. Aha! Whoa! Okay, YouTube, get me banned. There we go. There we go. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. All right, everybody who's got perfect little teeny tiny eyeballs. <laughs> let's look at. It. All right. Hey, we finally got a track that I can't pronounce. Yeah, read that, Alex. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a listen while this is, uh... Oh, Sade? Sade? Come on, that is, that's Smooth Operator. That is Smooth Operator. Oh, Yellow Cherry. This is the song that was famous. Aha, aha, aha. So when I was looking at one of these earlier sites, this one, it mentioned this song of, uh, what did it, I just forgot a name, Yellow Cherry? Oof, I don't know if I want a Yellow Cherry. It's kind of long. Why do I have this picture down here? Ah, YouTube. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. Oh, it was me. There we go. YouTube, thank you, oh my god, I might have to go underground with this channel. <laughs> okay, let's find this here. Got another Latin piece. Alright, let's zoom in here. Enhance. Okay, 
what does that say? Jeff? I don't want to get too zoomed in. Christopher Parker drums. Okay, let's turn that down. Jeffrey Electro for guitar? Okay, there's brothers. Jeffrey and Cliff are two guys that play guitar. Okay, I'm not going to be a jerk here because I was talking all over this and this is a dope song. Let's do it. Turn me on, dead man. Turn me on, dead man. Beatles reference. Here we go. That's one of the laziest sexual sounds I've heard in a while. How you doing? Uh, what's going on? Uh. <laughs> there it is. There was that lyric. Hold on. Let's get that one, two, three, woo. Where was it? Yeah. One, two. That's how they spell woo. Woo. Woo! Mm. Bam. Oh yeah, this song is kicking, man. More bass. More Goto, baby. Okay, I'm still trying to read this. Uh, Rob. Uh, Pierre Rhodes. What does that say? Organ and synthesizers. Saxophone, guitar, piano, vocal, chorus. Uh, what does that say? Main. Uh, main wit. Wit. Wister. What? Uh, yeah, this is absolutely Nobu being a, a fortune teller and being like, you know. I bet in the future, people are going to be really prudish about boobies, and I bet there's going to be a kid who really wants to cover this album, and the boobies are going to make everybody feel weird. Not him. I love him. But YouTube man and that Jackie Chan army. I did not say that. YouTube, please don't cut me off. I was joking. It's not a real thing. It's a real thing. Everybody join. Okay. So there we go. Pretty good track there. That was a fun one. Uh, that was our Yellow Cherry, one of the more pop or well-known songs off of this album according to one website. So we'll take that with a grain of salt here. Uh, but yeah, is that what that says? Main Western vocal chorus? As I scroll over here to the side and lose my place completely. No boo. That might have... I think you are totally right. That says Main Western vocal chorus. And so we've seen our... Uh, one of them there. No boo sites, okay. Well, let's look down here. Because we got this, produced by Nobu Saito, check, arranged by Nobu Saito, check, and by Christopher Parker. Okay, so another one of our uh, percussionists. Okay, there's Goto, our bass player. Oh boy, basic mixing engineering by John McCarty? Man, I, I just feel like, a, I feel like a blind boy. Is it going to be easier like this? No. <laughs> Ah, it's so hard to read. Okay, well, while I'm still trying to figure this out, we got a couple more people. We got a couple more tracks. So let's go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> let's go ahead and listen to our next track here, The Way I Felt at First. And let's go ahead and see if I can look up at least a couple of the names that we've already deciphered from here. Ooh. Let's try to check out those uh, guitarist twins, see what we got here. Cliff Messini? Sure. Is that you, baby? Okay, Lou. Marie. Hmm. 
Hey, I got one. <laughs> Known as Blue Lou. Hey, he's a blues brother. Hell yeah. All right, now we're getting some info. Finally. Booyah, baby. Oh, what you know about this? U-N-T. Uh, uh, that's where I am. That's where I study. Uh, there's my, th I'm going to call that my Kevin Bacon to Nobu Saito. So, I go to the school where this guy, Lou Marini Jr., played in the 1 o'clock lab band, which I have seen them play many times. They are unbelievable. He played with Nobu Saito. That means I'm three degrees away. I will take my Grammy now. Thank you, everybody. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, Texas. Okay. <laughs> I got all excited for Texas James. Okay, we're gonna have to go back because this song is just too funky and I just got too excited talking over it. Ooh. Ooh, here we go, here we go. We got some fantastic information from Al. Okay, so we got Goto playing bass guitar and piano but it says it really says goto electric bass acoustic guitar piano important distinction there thank you al so goto doing a i was not sure if, if he was doing as much as it was implying that he was doing but it looks like yeah he was just like nobu going for it as far as the self-made self-produced album and just going ham pulling in some really dope people now I want to keep looking at this cat here uh, at Lou Marini because this is, I want to see how much he worked with him on this. All right, so this is the same year he worked with Frank Zappa. And then a year before he did Aerosmith, Steely Dan, uh, Donnie Warwick, Buddy Rich. I don't know those other people. That's cool, man. Oh, they don't even put him on as a guest star. Come on, you got to give a little bit of Nobu love. Maybe we can find our uh, guitarists in here though, you never know. Hey, there's, there's Lalo Schifrin, that was the guy who uh, we talked about a couple weeks ago, who was our piano player, who had the Eminem, the big famous sample from Eminem. Or Eminem took it from him. Ah, they don't put Nobu on here. It's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. Okay. Man, this guy... Pfft, I see what I call him Blue Lou. That's pretty cool right there. Okay. Good. Well, let's see what else we got on here now. Let's see if we can figure out these last couple names. So Lou Marini, that was, that was cool. So let's see here. This Cliff... Messina? I just want to say Messina because of, uh, what is it, Jim, uh, Jimmy Messina and Kenny Loggins, John Messina, whatever the, take me away, no that's Christopher Cross, anyway, Yacht Rock, we're not going to Yacht Rock, unless it's Hollow Notes, which is later, but that's okay, very cool, alright, Nobu, it's just crushing it for us, so, so good, alright, let's see if we can figure this out, this, is gonna, this will make me happy if we can get these last couple people, so Cliff Messini. I mean, that's just all I got here. Is Cliff Messini guitar? Mm. No, not Messini. Mm. I need a little more funk to think. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, we got Master of Al on it, our R&D champion, research and development. Okay, here we go. So it's starting, this is an album that is starting to look a little bit like one of our Western collabs. The example that I like to give of this is looking at Masayoshi Takanaka, looking at his second studio album, uh, Insatiable High, because his first album, Seychelles, um, had a lot of, you know, 
was its own thing and then we go to insatiable high which is very much its own thing and then when we go to his third album beyond we've established that takanaka sound and he kind of splits between doing a prog rock thing and doing kind of a song uh, singer songwriter not really singer songwriter but more traditional city pop stuff but that second album insatiable high he pulled in all these american players to me most notably patrice russian a uh, keyboardist vocalist who was a very uh, famous uh, late 70s early 80s uh, pop kind of icon here in america who had forget me nots which was then later sampled and turned into the men in black theme song the but the men in black i can't sing but it's give me forget me nots it's a good song you should check it out but what we got here, uh, Master Owl hooked us up here with Rob Muncy. Again, everything is looking good. The dates line up correctly. We got 1952. And let's see if we can get another UNT connection, because that would be sweet if we had one. Uh, but while we're going here, since we're getting low on time, oh, goodness, we got four minutes to cover ten. Well, let's go ahead and just keep on trucking through here. This is our next song on the album, In the Darkness. Okay, here we go. All right, so it looks like we got a Berkeley man here. Hey, he played with Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan next to Chromio. That, that is definitely, that's like a, what is that, Bach to Bjork. <laughs> that's quite a different shift there between things. Huh. Okay, we're going to do Cliff Morris next. That looks like we got a Zach reference. Ooh. Uh, here's a good example to show what I was talking about with the vocals. I'll turn it normal, and then I'll turn it back to what I have here. So this is no EQ. Now I'll add it. adds a little bit of warmth and presence. This is my, what you can see right there, that's my go-to preset. Whenever I'm just listening to something that's orchestrated like this, where it's generally what you would consider a standard band. What I mean by that, percussion, keys, guitar, bass, vocals. Some combination of that, like a five mix. Nothing is huge, it's not like a big beat where we've got dominating bass or something like that. But I just think this is a nicer, warmer mix to hear everything. Oh, did we get it? This might be it. This might be it. I think Zal figured it out for us. Hey, it's Judy Collins. One of the people that I wanted to look at who is, again, connected to all these city pop cats and all these people in the era. Ah, you played on Grace Jones' album? That's probably not a good album. <laughs> Okay, very cool. I think this is our I think this is our cat. So if this is Cliff Morris then, do they have a brother? Cause if that says Morris, is that Jeffrey Morris? Cause it looks very similar. Oh, Jeffrey Moses? Oh, what could it be? Alright, let's look it up. So if this is Cliff Morris, let's look up Jeff Morris. And let's see if that's a thing. I'm gonna guess probably not him. He looks a little too young. <laughs> We're looking for some gray hair people here. All right, let's check the other ones. What did Al say? Jeffrey Moses? Uh, spelling? Jeffrey Morris? No. Let's go back and do Jeffrey Moses. Is this it? 
Reload? No? Okay. These guys look way too young. Morris Tepper? Jeff Morris Tepper is an American singer. Oh, is this it? Did we find it? I think it might be this. Morris Tepper. Credited as Jeff Morris Tepper. Would this be Jeffrey Tepper? Or Jeffrey Morris? Is it? Ah, crud. Where is it? Dang it. Dang it. Bobby? Bobby. Okay. Jeffrey... I don't know. I might be stretching. I might be stretching for that one. Hmm. Well, let's see what it says for him. 1970s still present. Known as Jeff Morris Tepper. Morris Tepper. <laughs> Love Hunter. White Jew. Jeff Tepper. There's a lot going on in there. Tom Waits, Robin Hitchcock. Okay, Tep first became prominence with Captain Beefheart. What in the world? I, I'm losing confidence in it now. Now I'm not sure if I'm right. Oh, we got a little uh, quiet storm here at the end. There we go. All right, Nobu. All right, giving us a little bit of, giving us a little bit of the rumble there before the end. Okay, well while we're getting ready for this last one. <laughs> Well, let's listen to this last track here, and we'll see if we can decipher this last guitarist here. But I'm going to go ahead and stick with this idea if we look through one more time at the people that we have identified so far from our lists here. Christopher Parker, we have tagged him. He is a percussionist uh, American who band did a lot of band leader stuff. Uh, let's just look him up one more time here. Let's do ChrisParkerDrums.com. Try that out. So let's look at his bands. See if anything pops out to me. Chris Parker Trio. Nah, I don't really know that. Let's look at his discography. I'm sure he's just been all, look at this, all over the place with stuff. James Brown. See what he just chose on the side. Hey, this Salt and Peppa. Look at this. That's redonkulous. So that's one of our cats. So he uh, is in there. Hey, this is a little... Rep I think this is a quote to an earlier song. I think Nobu brought this back here at the end. This is very cool. I like this album has been very, very different. It's definitely not one of those put it on at the at the party and be like, hey guys, wanna dance, hang out, do some Latin beats. But there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Very, very chill hooks, good beats, and especially if you're into making some music. That's a loop right there. Let's see if I can get a loop. That'll be the last thing I do here today. Bliam, bum, bum, bum. There we go. So we got that in point. Two, two, three, four, three. Two, three, four, four, two, three. Let's loop it now. And there you go. And then you would do that, and then you'd add a song on the right and be like, Everybody getting down. Wiki, 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 wah. Skip, 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 it, skip, dip, 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 yep, yep, yep. Uh, but you see, it didn't loop perfectly because the BPM is ex isn't exactly right. I need the BPM to lock all these things. This is a cool. This is cool though. All right, so it's getting off topic here. But looking here, we've got our Jeffrey Mussini or Morris. I think is what we is that what we landed on was Jeffrey Morris, not Morris Tepper. <laughs> But yeah, the last one that I was ex excited about was Lou Marini, who was the UNT cat saxophonist, blues brother. Very, very cool. But I think these are all Westerners, Americans. And as we got right here, the main Western vocal chorus. Uh, looks like we got Julia Watton, which, uh, or Western? That'd be hilarious if her name was Julia Western. Uh... But yeah, I think this is our same person who did. Let me look this up real quick here. Okay, so Joni Davis, she's one of our singers. We looked at her a little bit, but there was another person who I wanted to point out who Nobu played on her albums. I cannot remember her name now. Instrument performances. Somebody's gonna get it right. I think it's like Julie, Julie Anton, that's the name. 
Let's see if I can find that real quick. Julie Anton. No. <laughs> Next. <sighs> ah, no Julie Anton for me today. Very sad. Oh, there's, there's Takanaka for us at least. And yeah, we'll take that. Anywho, pretty cool, Nobu. Pretty cool. And I don't know why. I also, I love that face. <laughs> Whoop. She's just like, oh, what are you doing, man? What, what, what? What are you doing? And he's just like, yeah, <laughs> having a good time. <laughs> okay, okay. So we're gonna go back to the the webcam view here, and oh yeah, get everything nice and shaky. My computer's all freaking out here. All right. Well, wonderful to be back, everybody. I'm so never taking a vacation again. This is too much fun. This is too much fun. All right, so we did a long-awaited request. The Nobu Saito first album, our Virgin Territory from 1977. Very interesting. We got a good connection there to uh, Masayoshi Takanaka doing Insatiable High, where he went over to America, pulled in a lot of Western uh, musicians, and put together an album. So that seems to be a pretty common thing in the late 70s, because it looks like by the time we get to the early 80s, uh, from what we've done our research on so far, it seems like most people are pretty much chilling out and staying, you know, forming bands in Japan or in the area and sticking to it. But early on, it looks like uh, what was in vogue was traveling around and pulling in musicians from America and Europe and all this kind of stuff and traveling around. And I'm sure that we're going to eventually find that Nobu has made his way over to America and has plenty of representation over here as well so we'll keep digging on that but as we keep looking through the week we got some more stuff if you're on the discord server you can check out the announcements and that tells you what is coming up here this next week we can uh, decipher through i think we'll see we got piper is coming up this week i'm trying to remember what all i put on that car let's just let's pop in and look at it real fit real quick because first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the old discord link so for those of y'all who are not here with us Boom, there it is in the chat for YouTube. But let's go ahead and see what we got here. Go to announcements. Skaboosh. Boom. So, special week volume two. So, we are going to have a little bit of Nobu. We're going to have a little bit of, it looks like Junko Ohashi in here. Some Piper. And then, I'll just leave the last one as a surprise. I'll let you guys figure that one out. But, as always, if you had a good time, a like and a subscribe would greatly help me out. I love doing this. If you have any suggestions for the channel or how to work on things, sound quality, audio quality, talking too much, being too weird, let me know. I don't know if I can fix it, but I'll try to fix it. Uh, every Wednesday, we got a new tab video coming out. So we got one coming out tomorrow. Going to be doing some more jams. Going to be doing some more mixes, switching things up. Now that you've seen, I've got some new gear over here. Uh, yeah, we're going to be getting some new things going down. But anyway, happy to be back. Hope y'all have a fantastic Tuesday, and I look forward to seeing y'all tomorrow. <laughs> I had to think about when tomorrow was. It's the day after today. Y'all have a great day. See ya!